I'm Rocky Hawa Brakata, Yahusha, Rocky Hawa Brakata, Yahusha, Bahashan, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Away with Man. Lord will you are edified. And this is an example of away with man hence the term emasculate as you can see big boy looking extremely uncomfortable and of course he is doing the bidding of esau point blank period according to the etymon for emasculate to deprive of the male functions. Castorate, out, away, out or away with what? Male, manly. How do you destroy a nation? By killing off the males. And from a spiritual sense, this is what Esau is doing. Attempting to turn the males regarding Israelites, so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans, making them the opposite of straight to attempt to kill us off. This is nothing but a crafty objective within the new world order. Exodus. One and twenty two and Pharaoh charged all his people saying every son that is born you shall cast into the river and every daughter you shall save alive again and pharaoh charged all his people saying every son that is born you shall cast into the river and every daughter you shall save alive how do you destroy a nation by killing off the males and this was pharaoh's attempt to murder Moses to offset prophecy. Let's go to Matthew chapter 2 and verse 16. Now this is going into the prophecy of Shah, and Herod was attempting to murder Shah to offset prophecy. Matthew 2 and 15. And was there until the death of Herod. Let me start at verse 14. Matthew 2 and 14. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt. He took, referring to Joseph, and was there until... So like and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wroth, and sent forth and slew all the children, meaning males boys, sons, that were in Bethlehem and in all the coasts thereof from two years old and under according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. Let's read this in the NLT. Herod was furious when he realized that the wise men had outwitted him. He sent soldiers to murder all the boys in and around Bethlehem who were two years old and under-based. 
on the wise men's report of the star's first appearance. Okay. Of course, that star is going into a chariot. Let's go to Revelation 12 and 4. Now, this is going into the pagan Rome Empire. Revelation 12 and 4. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, going into the southern kingdom located in Judea, and did cast them to the earth of the dragon, Slack, and the dragon, the pagan Rome Empire, stood before the woman, the nation of Israel, which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child, Yahweh as soon as it was born. And we just read Matthew chapter 2 going into this account. And she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron going into Yahweh Now his rulership is going into the kingdom of heaven. And her child was caught up unto the Most High and to his throne. Okay. Going into Yahweh was crucified. And now he presently resides in the spiritual realm on the right side of the Most High. John 16 and 19. Now Yahweh knew that they were desirous to ask him and said unto them, Do you inquire among yourselves of that I said a little while, and you shall not see me, and again a little while, and you shall see me? Verily, verily, I say unto you that you shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice, and you shall be sorrowful, but your sorrow shall be turned into joy. A woman, when she is in travail, has sorrow because her hour is come. But as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remember no more the anguish for joy that a man is born into the world. Hence the joy. Why? Because of the birth of a man child, the importance of a man. See, a man carry, carries on the lineage. How do you destroy a nation by killing off the males? And from a spiritual sense, Esau is doing this. And he's utilizing these so-called celebrities to promote the opposite of being straight, right? And this will promote what? Depopulation. However, again, Going into the nobility of Edom, they never factor in the elect, starting with the 144,000. Okay? Lord, will you edify Shalom?